In this video, I'm explain how to set up Mouse Excel and put on the settings that work for you specifically. If you don't think Mouse Excel will be helpful and it'll ruin your aim, check out the video on the top right. I answer this question more in that video. This video is more of a how to Mouse Excel, not a why you should Mouse Excel. First, we have to look at what you're actually trying to do with Mouse Excel. The most common goal is to have a low sense to adjust on and a high sense to flick on. However, maybe you want to be able to track people who are far away on a low sense and people who are closer and therefore seem to be moving faster on a high sense. Or maybe it's something completely different. I'll help you with all those in this video. But first, if you like my content and want more aim tips, please consider subscribing. You want to use Rockcell as your mouse excel software, it's the most popular and it doesn't get you banned from games. To get Rockcell, all you gotta do is go to the GitHub in the description, download the folder, run the installer, restart your computer, and then run Rockcell. When you're in Rockcell, there's a bunch of different settings. The most basic ones are sense multiplier and xy ratio. Sense multiplier just multiplies your base sensitivity by whatever number you put in that, and XY ratio lets you split your horizontal and vertical sensitivities by a multiplier to your Y value. Don't touch rotation, there's no need. Now there's a bunch of different curves you can pick from. The first is a linear curve which just accelerates your sensitivity at a constant rate. As you can see in the sense multiplier graph, it measures your inputs in counts per millisecond. Counts refer to DPI or CPI dots, so if you double your DPI and cut your in-game sense in half, it won't feel the same with Rockcell on. As I go through the different settings, unless you know calculus, only look at the top graph. Acceleration is just a multiplier, just play around with it, but most people are below 0.05, so keep that in mind. I'd also recommend turning on a cap because it can get kind of annoying when your sense goes to like 5 centimeters per 360. The two different types of cap are input and output. Input basically just means stop accelerating after a certain input per millisecond value. Output basically just means after a certain sense multiplier stop accelerating. You usually want to leave gain checked on as it basically just means it'll smoothly transition to your cap rather than just an abrupt corner. Offset will just push your program a bit to the right by whatever value you put in there. Keep in mind input cap isn't affected by offset so you gotta adjust that accordingly. Classic curves are the same thing as linear except they add a power setting. That does the same thing as it would do in algebra where linear is x squared, classic is x to the power of whatever you put in it. It can be really helpful to start off slow and then increase faster. Natural increases really fast early on then flattens out. If you can't get the right thing with linear in a cap, maybe you want to use natural. It's the K rate is basically how fast it increases, and you can just play around with it. The math on this one doesn't matter too much. Power curves are just a good way to copy CSGO curves into another game. It's really nothing special to it other than that. If you ever accidentally give yourself settings that make it so your mouse sensitivity is so bad that you can't even use the UI to reset it, you can use shift tab, tab, and enter to get around the settings menu. This has helped me out a couple times when experimenting. Now there's a bunch of other settings they explain on the Rockcell GitHub including how to convert CSGO into power. I don't think they're really important for that many people so I'm not going to explain them in this video because it would just be hours long to go through every specific example. Now to find a good curve for you, you really just got to go into a game, play around with different settings, different curves, different sensitivities, different scopes until you find something that really achieves what you're looking for. If it feels like it's accelerating too fast, slow down the acceleration acceleration number. If it feels like it's gutting too high, lower the cap. Just stuff like that, you know? Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more aim tips.